Welcome back to my ongoing coverage of the Bayesian Superyacht disaster, and the investigation that has since been launched into it. During the past week, the cause of death for those who lost their lives aboard the Superyacht have finally started to be released, with initial reports having details on four of the victims. The New York Post reported, four of the seven victims killed in the Bayesian Superyacht wreck were trapped alive inside the ship's cabins as the vessel went down off the coast of Sicily last month, according to their autopsies. New York City lawyer Chris Morvillo, his wife Nida, along with Morgan Stanley Bank International Chair Jonathan Bloomer and his wife Judy, all died of dry drowning, according to tests conducted over the past two days. None of the four passengers aboard Bayesian had water in their lungs, trachea or stomach, revealing that they did not drown in the seawater after the ship began sinking. The article also states that the four victims died of asphyxiation when the air bubble they huddled in ran out of oxygen and became toxic with carbon dioxide. They said the victim's cause of death was death by confinement, according to Italian publications. It was announced days later that Mike Lynch, the owner of the superyacht, had also likely died of suffocation after running out of oxygen, with an article on the Standard website reading, Reuters has reported the verdict came after initial examinations carried out on Saturday on Mr Lynch's body. It is also stated that examinations on the body of his daughter, Hannah, were inconclusive, succeeding only in ruling out any traumas or wounds as the cause of death, leaving open the possibilities she either ran out of oxygen or drowned. Bayesian's chef, Ricardo Thomas, was the only body to be found outside of the vessel, and, after initial examinations, it is stated these indicated he died by drowning. Further forensic tests have been ordered for all victims, with results expected in the coming weeks. A sailing, boating and maritime magazine named Afloat posted an article on their website sharing what Bayesian crew member Matthew Griffiths described as he spoke of the last moments before the yacht's sinking. He was on watch when the vessel sank and has described how he woke the skipper when wind speeds hit 20 knots. It is claimed that he told Italian prosecutors that the skipper, James Cutfield, then ordered that everybody be woken up. Griffiths described how the superyacht, which had been at anchor, tilted and we fell into the water. We were then able to climb back on and we tried to save those we could, he said. He said that Cutfield rescued Charlotte Golunsky, 36, a guest of owner Mike Lynch and a one-year-old daughter. Griffiths, along with Captain James Cutfield and engineer Tim Parker, are all still under investigation by Italian authorities. In other news, Cambridge Independent have reported that Hewlett-Packard Enterprise has confirmed it plans to continue with its claim for up to £3 billion in damages against the estate of Mike Lynch after his death, having won a UK High Court civil claim against him in 2022, accusing him of fraud regarding the £8.3 billion takeover of his software company Autonomy in 2011. The report goes on to explain that Hewlett Packard is seeking damages of up to £3 billion, with a judge set to rule on the final sum soon. Reported on MSN.com, Nick Bark, head of salvage operations at Boats.co.uk, said the only real way of knowing why the yacht sank will be to lift it to the surface, but that would be expensive and complicated, likely to involve a crane barge. He said divers would attach straps to the boat before it's lifted upright and then hauled out of the water. He predicted this would be time consuming as they have to do it in such a way that they don't damage anything too badly. Investing.com, among others however, have since reported that some progress with the salvage mission has been made, stating, The wreck of the Bayesian remains a priority for recovery efforts due to its potential environmental impact. The yacht carried 18,000 litres of fuel, posing a significant risk 
to the waters near Palermo, bids for the salvage operation, funded by a company owned by Lynch's wife, have been submitted. The salvage is also critical for the ongoing investigation, as authorities seek to understand how the yacht sank within just 16 minutes after being hit by violent weather. Now comes the wait for the results of forensic tests, including toxicology reports. But until then, the investigation and salvage operation remain critical. <laughs>